Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today there's something really important that I want to talk about and that I want to touch on. If you're somebody that wants to throw far and you continuously do form work and although your form looks better, you're not actually throwing farther, I think this video is really important for you to watch. And there's some things in here that you probably don't want to hear, but things that you likely need to hear. And not a lot of people in disc golf are currently talking about this. When it comes to throwing far, you will never throw far if you are unathletic. So if you are not throwing far and you don't see yourself as an explosive person, you need to prioritize your explosiveness. And I was actually just enjoying this video from Overthrow Disc Golf, who I do enjoy watching from time to time when it comes to very technical, nitpicky um, disc golf form type stuff. Obviously, the production quality, there's a lot for me to learn from. Their channel has a lot higher production quality than mine. Um, but this is one of the problems with disc golf coaching, disc golf trainers, disc golf form videos. And I've made loads of form videos. But the number one most important thing if you want to throw far is to be explosive. And there's a very small percentage of people who are explosive who don't throw far. And I do have an example pulled up of somebody who does fall into this category. But I think this person is so unusual and so unrelatable for most players. I really don't think many people are going to find themselves in that situation. So I do want to play this brief clip from Overthrow Disc Golf because I think this just sort of... Um, symbolizes how people view strength training, how people view training to become more explosive, um, just in disc golf. In literally every other sport, being explosive is a priority. Being athletic is a priority. There's not a single college athlete that does not spend just as much time or more in the weight room as they do out on the field or out playing their sport. So let's play the clip from Overthrow real quick. Violence to this part. So... You can do speed training. You can also do physical training for this. Just get your body stronger, get it more explosive overall, and that can help. Now, that phrase right there, he doesn't touch on how, he doesn't touch on what you should do, he doesn't touch on any of the training that would go into that, and he just says the phrase, that can help, which I think is such a wild understatement of what becoming more explosive would actually do for your ability to throw farther, throw faster, and throw more explosively. I felt like I had to make this video to specifically touch on that because so many people are going to watch overthrow videos and he spends, this is a 16 and a half minute video, he spends about eight seconds glancing over it could be helpful and it's just it's just not a good way to say that if you are not explosive you will not throw far explosive overall and that can help just saying that can help is just a big understatement and i think we need to we need to rewind this mentally we need to reevaluate because it is substantially more important than that if you want to throw far you have to be explosive Nobody else is like Jake Wolf in disc golf. He is kind of a one-of-a-kind guy, but he's the perfect example of the rare case where someone is wildly explosive but doesn't throw far. And this guy's like one in a million. If I throw it left-handed and we turn it in a mirror, that might work better okay. for this. But... I cannot believe that's the same guy that throws Tomahawk 500 feet. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's not the same person. It makes no sense, and I think this boils more down to his unwillingness to learn the backhand more than his physical ability to learn the backhand. Obviously, he has not put the work in. He didn't know how to hold the disc. He didn't know where his fingers went. It's as if he's never thrown a backhand before in his entire life. If he throws backhand for a month, I promise you he will throw farther than you being the person watching this video because he is so explosive. So I have clips pulled up of me throwing six months ago, three months ago, and eight days ago. Now, what have I been doing to become more explosive, do you ask? Well, this is a very small tidbit of what I've been doing uh, to become more explosive, to become more strong, to become more athletic. This I find the less disc golf I play and the more time I spend eating healthy, 
eating fruits and vegetables, prioritizing protein, the better I get at disc golf. If I just eat healthy and I strength train and I practice putting once in a while, but I spend very little time out on the course, when I do actually go play, I will play better than if I just play disc golf all the time. You need to become athletic, you need to become healthy, and you need to take care of your body if you want to become explosive and you want to optimize your distance, your consistency, and your mental game. But nobody talks about this in disc golf. It's as if it doesn't even exist. And aside from like Ricky Wysocki, Ezra Aderhold, Katrina Allen, um, Tristan Tanner, and a couple other people, nobody even really talks about their workout routine ever at all. And this is just, we need to make a, we need to make a cultural shift when it comes to this stuff. But uh, so uh, there's a couple things that I've been doing. Um, I have been putting in some miles on the run. I've been trying to lose a few pounds. I've been trying to lean out. Um, just sort of improve my power to weight power to weight ratio, become metabolically healthy. And I know these aren't impressive mileages, but I'm out here. I'm grinding. Um, I've been keeping up with it. I know this says the tenth. It's now the nineteenth. I put in four more runs since this. I just screenshotted this from my phone, just to kind of show you guys. I, I'm putting in the miles here. I'm doing my best. I'm a horrible runner, and I'm doing my best. Even the days I feel like absolute poop, I'm getting out. And I did. I cracked a 0.8 mile run and there, <laughs> there's no shame in that because I, I got out, I put the shoes on and I did what I could that day. It was, it was a rough day, but I, I just got out and did something. So aside from the running, which I am doing tempo work, I'm trying to, you know, strengthen my hip flexors. I'm trying to run faster, push my pace. As I continue to get faster at running, I feel like I'm throwing farther in disc golf. And that's something that I'm doing. And another thing that I'm doing um, these are just some of my early on sets of my workout, just kind of showing some of the exercises that I'm doing specifically for the lower body. Um, I put some workout clips in one of my recent videos. I kind of got roasted for this, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, it's, it's important to get in the weight room. And I, this was the Matty O Prince review. But one thing that's going to help you get really explosive is learning to train through a full stretch, full explosive contraction and progressively overloading, adding more weight over time. And if you know anything, I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have pretty rough knees a lot of the time, and I used to barely be able to leg extension like three or four plates, and now I'm able to just rip the full stack for, you know, sets of 15 to 20 reps. And now it's getting to the point where I need to start training a single leg just because the whole stack on the machine is getting too light for me. That's me getting stronger. That strength, because my form is pretty good already, is going to translate immediately into distance. And now we were just training the quads on the leg extensions. And now we're going to train the hamstrings on an RDL. I've gotten to the point where I'm using like, you know, 80 pound dumbbells on those. That was probably just a warm up set. But I'm progressively overloading. I'm getting stronger. And that strength is going to immediately carry over into more distance because on these clips, my form is essentially the same six months ago, three months ago, and eight days ago. But you will see a big difference from six months ago to eight days ago because I've been running, I've been strength training, and it's a grind, and it's annoying, and sometimes I skip playing, sometimes I skip filming to get out and get my workouts in because I know that that's going to keep me healthy. I'm going to have longevity. I'm going to be able to play disc golf longer and later on into more years than someone who's not taking care of their body and when i do play i'm gonna throw farther and i'm gonna feel better out on the course so this is my form six months ago and you'll notice my form looks pretty much the exact same six, six months ago as it does eight days ago uh all right so and and i really want you to pay attention to the speed at which the disc comes out of my hand when i watched this clip i threw that as hard as i humanly could i threw it like 280. Granted, it's a pretty overstable disc, but this does not look like someone who's explosive. And when I look at this, I, I'm not I'm not very impressed with myself. I'll be totally honest with you guys. So that's six months ago. This is me throwing. I mean, I'm throwing different discs here, but you can see the arm speed improvements. This is three months later. Definitely a bit more zippy. Again, same form essentially but looking substantially more zippy out of the hand and i need to go do tech disc again
But that guy who throws the photon right here is not the same guy that throws the CD3 right here. Like, that's... And that's like... Like, that already probably looks a few miles an hour faster. So now this is me throwing eight days ago, and I've been super consistent on the running. I've been super consistent on the lifting. I've been playing disc golf substantially less because I've been prioritizing my training, my strength training, and my running, and my cardio. And sometimes when you lift and then you go run, you, you just don't have the energy left to go get, you know, eight to 10,000 more steps playing disc golf. But this is me eight days ago, and this is form and explosiveness that I'm really starting to actually look at myself and be like, dang, I actually throw kind of far. This is me just eight days ago. This is an actually, to me, a lot more athletic looking shot. And you can see I'm getting a full flex on that DD3. I'm putting it up in the air. I'm throwing the disc with plenty of speed to get it to get a big turn maximum distance this shot went a good bit over 400 feet my form looks essentially the same my body's in all the same positions but consistent running prioritizing my health eating healthier foods prioritizing protein and then i've, I've been really consistent on the strength training the astagrass squats i've been doing a ton of walking lunges step ups um i do a handful of upper body workouts but for me I, I hit a lot of leg days, and for the reason that, if you take care of your legs, you're going to be athletic, you're going to be able to do the things that you want to do, but if your legs suck, you can't do what you want to do. Like I said, I have a history of bad knees, so I know my weaknesses, so I know what I need to work on the most, but let's just look at, let's just look at this guy right here. This, this is me right now. This is me just over a week ago, and this is form and explosiveness that allows me to this is like a 700 foot or 680 foot par four i was able to put myself inside like 150 feet and approach with a flick mutant because i was able to throw so much further than i used to be able to throw so anyway guys i just wanted to make a quick public service announcement i thought this was important i i want to see the other disc golf youtubers talking about the training that they're doing to become better I don't care how good your form is. If you're not athletic, you're not going to throw far. And if you want to throw far you need, and you're not innately explosive, show me a guy who throws far that's not explosive. Paul McBeth, very athletic. Ricky Wysocki, very athletic. Simon Lazat, extremely athletic. Like Calvin Heimberg, very athletic. All of these guys that throw super far and that you wish you could throw as far as them, most of them were just born more athletic than you and that is the unfortunate reality of the situation they were born more athletic than you they were born more athletic than me what you can do is do your best with what you have you got to put in the work you got to do your squats your lunges you know your pressing you, you got to get all these strength building exercises in and once you've then gotten strong then you can sort of transition into you know jumping and sprinting and doing different exercises that are going to help you also build once you have the strength become even more explosive and that's when you're really going to start being able to push yourself to that 450 to 500 foot distance but if you're not athletic i don't care how good your form is you're not going to throw far so i know it's a little bit all over the place but this is something that's really important to me and it's something that i've been working on again like i said for the last six months and i say a night and day difference throwing with the same form but throwing like 100 feet farther so anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Look at this. Look at this guy. I'm too huge for a DD3 on this hole. But anyway, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys, do you guys care about this? I feel like I care a lot about this. This stuff's really important to me. And I need channels like Overthrow to be more clear that being athletic matters. Strength training matters. I know Josh from Overthrow. He used to be a, like, a lot bigger guy. He's lost a ton of weight. He's been putting in the work. Let's talk about it, man. I, I respect his hustle. I respect his grind. I expect to see him continue to improve as long as he keeps training and improving his health. I, I respect the heck out of that. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.